what is exciting about this moment is we are in a juniper grove. We're in an eastern red cedar grove, a juniperus virginiana reality, which is incredible. These blue berries, they're actually not true berries, they're cones. This is a conifer, and these are its fruit. This is the female of the juniper, Juniperus virginiana. This is the dioecious tree, meaning the females are going to make the fruit. The males have pollen that will pollinate these babies. But here I just want you to really focus on how incredible this blueness is. And this is peak time for harvest. So what do we want to harvest these incredibly gorgeous blueberries for? What are they all about? Well, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they feed lots of wildlife, and they are also used um, in food and in medicine. The way that you would use rosemary or really potent culinary, um, culinary herbs is how you would use juniper. This is, again, eastern red cedar, the fruit of the Juniperus virginiana. So what's going on here is we have an extremely strong, potent, aromatic, full of volatile oils, full of that gin flavor. So you can make your own um, liqueur, you can make syrups from it, you can put it into ferments like krauts, you can make stews with it, you can flavor food. Basically, that's the game. Therapeutically speaking, we have an antiseptic that's specific to the urinary tract. We also have a carminative that has to do with helping us digest our food. We have, um, what else to say about this plant, this, <laughs> this tree? Um, it's pretty darn potent. So it's not like you're going to be eating handfuls. You're going to eat a pinch. You're not going to eat a palmful. And perhaps one or two, maybe three berries are the, pot you know, are the level of potency that you want to, meaning the uh, intensity of this berry is you want to be eating two to three berries maximum per serving. That's pretty, you know, small amounts. Um, let's talk about its flavor. And we're going to get to its ID in a second as well. And its flavor profile is very beautifully aromatic, resiny, with a citrus grapefruit hit. This particular tree has quite a bit of sweetness as well, and then bitterness. There's a lot going on in that fruit. Inside of the fruit, we have one to four seeds just so you know. And um, let's get into IDing this tree so you know how to ID it. Again, you're only going to be finding the berries on the female plant. The male does not produce fruit. Again, it's a dioecious and we are amongst this gorgeous female eastern red cedar tree. So let's have you really look at these fruits at the berries, at the juniper berries. Here's a close-up of the berry, which is not a berry, but a cone. This is, again, a conifer. And, but these berries right here are perfect for harvesting. So you can come along and gather these babies and just pluck them off like so. Just so lovely. The berries are, as you can see, bluish, and this white coating. This is called bloom and it wipes right off so that it's a kind of a white powder. Where are you going to find eastern red cedars? They grow in, they're native to the eastern United States and they grow in hardiness zones two to nine throughout the United States. What kind of soil? They're very tolerant of dry, rocky soil as well as moist soil, but it does not like to have wet feet, so you want well-drained soil. What about sun needs? It's full sun to part shade. You're going to find it in hedgerows. You're going to find it at the edge of the woodlands. You're going to find it in old agricultural fields. This is a pioneer plant, so it's going to just show up when some open meadow is happening, you're gonna see red cedars. Okay, let's go into some macro, some more close-ups on how you're gonna ID this beauty. Here we have its leaf. This is an evergreen leaf. 
and it, ha it is made up of overlapping scales. These leaves are pretty amazing. And they're f so if you were to twirl this branchlet, you would see that it is four-sided. It is, f there's four parts to this. The most common leaf that you're going to find on the red cedar has the overlapping scales, like the one we were just looking at. There is another kind of leaf on an eastern red cedar that is more pointy, more needle-like. That's the immature leaf. And these mature trees really don't have that. And I've been looking and most of the more mature red cedars that I'm coming upon do not have that needle-like leaf. Here we are at its trunk and you can see that it has, <laughs> I'm using the flashlight, we're losing our light here, but you can see that it has a reddish brown gray bark color and that it is f exfoliating in these very narrow, long vertical strips. So this is a very flaky bark that peels easily. And then also it has fluting, meaning it has these grooves irregularly throughout. So that's pretty cool as well. So you want to see that. This is a lovely, beautiful bark and this shreddiness of it can get really shreddy with some of the trees. Okay, let's have a look at the male. I am with a male of the Eastern Red Cedar and it does not have any of the juniper berries that we were just checking out. What it, this is a male and what it has, I want you to see, it has male cones at its leaf tips that are yellow. And those yellow cones, these are the male reproductive part and those cones will release pollen and pollinate the female. This beautiful tree offers so, so many gifts. I want to highlight one more, which is super easy to tap, which is to harvest those leaves. You can include berry too, and use those for steaming. And that beautiful steaming can be used to help the body decongest. So you upper respiratory decongestion. It can also be used in facial treatments. So we've got this amazing evergreen, which is with us all winter when we might need the support for the upper for clearing our upper our upper respiratory situations like stuffy noses and such we have a course called white pine love that's a free course it's at whitepinelove.com and i go deep into how to deal with facial steaming how to create that beautiful preparation that is so accessible to all of us and if you have enjoyed this and you would like more check out our online course Wild Food Health Boosters and Herbal Remedies at wildfoodhealthboosters.com. See you next time.